Take a good bass. I don't want to get a custom one because I know this. That reminds me of the Blues Brothers. Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tools in Action. We'd like to play some cool songs, but we can't because the minute we play it, then we owe the artist some money. Then this and video will we're get actually broke, pulled so. down. Yes. Do you know how much it would cost if we wanted to use like a, a an up to date song mm -hmm. just for this little video? Huh. Dude, it would be like it would probably be at least five grand. Holy cow! To use a popular song for this video. Wow. Yeah, at least, at least, and that would be just That's the beginning. Insane, man. Just some of our music that we buy, you guys, is like. Remember, I told you it was five hundred bucks for that one. Yeah. And you're like five hundred dollars. He thought it was a whole album collection we were getting. It was <laughs> yeah, one it was like song. one song. Um, so you got to buy rights to this stuff, you guys. We're going over the new Tough System radio. We saw it at the Dewalt event last yep. year. It looked cool. I got to admit, I thought it was cool. But until I got it, I didn't realize how well it is as a radio. Yeah, exactly. Like, I know, I know what he's gonna say right away that his what his the Bosch is the best. The Bosch sounds better. No way. This thing is jamming. It's awesome. It's got four speakers, so it's like the Bosch. It's got a surround sound, so you can put it in the middle of a room on a job yes. site. And it's got two subs on the bottom. Yeah, that it's nice to get them on the bottom. Produce insane amount of bass for this little box. It's a very nice radio. They did a really nice job with yeah, it. Yeah, they did a really nice job. It's IP54 rated. Yes. IP54, so it's dust and water resistant, you guys. Um, and what's cool about it is part of the tough system, so you can put it on the actual cart and it locks into place. So when you're wheeling your tools in there, just pop this on top. You can either leave it on there or take it off. and You can lock it onto you know. the boxes also. Yep. Um, so we'll show you that in a second here. Does charge your batteries, 12 both 12 volt and 20 volt, and it also runs off the batteries. Yeah. Uh, on the top here, go ahead and open that. And you can also use uh, Bluetooth up to 100 feet, which is nice. Right, and there's a USB port Oops. in there that you can charge your cell phone and also an auxiliary Sorry. port so you can if you don't have bluetooth and it's got a place to keep your crayons and your pencils so. hey no but that's cool it's got a little space in there i like it no it is cool i love the keypad you guys i love the design on the front it's real easy to operate mm -hmm. um you know what one thing i didn't check is What's reception that? we'll just check out reception real fast so we're gonna hit source little van halen i like it you know what's cool about it? It's got pretty good reception, and it's got a, a bar on there that tells you the reception. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's got a uh, shows you their battery status, too. Battery status of your charging. We're running off so battery right now. So we have to pay $5,000 now? I uh, hope not. Turn it off. Turn yeah. it down. Uh, you guys, it does come with this adapter, so you can plug it into the wall. That's probably my only kind of, uh, I don't want to say caveat, but my only kind of, you know, thing that I don't really like is the big power brick. I wish it was just one of those regular, like I wish this was internal somewhere to the unit and you could just use just like a regular, you know, we extension, have an extension cord. cord. Yeah, yeah, just a regular extension cord because you do have to carry something extra, but fear not, this does also fit right in here. Um, the latches are also kind of finicky to me a little bit. Like you got to squeeze both to open them. I mean, not bad. I'm just bitching a little, yeah. you know, this still is my favorite radio. I mean, I this know, radio sounds better than any other radio. I love the way it yeah, operates. Yeah, it fits nicely in there, dude, right yeah. there. So. Yeah, put it all in there for now, actually. Let's close it up on there. So that is cool. But, you know, you do. You always have an extension cord on the job site. I don't think it's going to close like that. I think that this has to be the same. On, um, the four speakers, you guys, the sound. The sound is the best on this thing. That's what really stands out. It's got a very good sound on it. Yeah, easy to connect the. Uh, uh, I don't know, Phil. Yeah. There Bluetooth to it. Easy to connect the Bluetooth to it. We did do this live on Periscope. I did mm -hmm. unbox this, and we did compare it to the Milwaukee 18 volt Bluetooth. And uh, people on Periscope even said they could hear the difference. 
Yeah, I mean, I think this sounds better. Yeah, than, yeah I like it's just a full, rich, distortion-free yeah. sound. I can't, I just can't explain. I mean, it sounds like the Bose almost. You know, uh, here's your two subwoofers on the bottom, and like we said, it's got a 360 radio on top. Everything here is rubberized, so you're gonna be able to, you know, spill water on it, get job site dirt on it, no problem, whatever. Um, it does weigh approximately, uh, what does it weigh, Eric? I don't, I don't know, know what it weighs. Bad, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go into that, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I can't say enough. One other six like, presets for your radio station. Yeah, one other quirk that's kind of weird is the way the battery sits in there. It doesn't necessarily have a positive click, you know? It just slides mm -hmm. in there. So I was kind of expecting it to have that positive click or to be able to push the button to unlock it and pull out, but it yeah. doesn't. And there's just a piece of rubber on top that locks it in. Um, but that's but, good, though, because you're moving around. You don't have to worry about the battery jarring around and all that. So. Yeah. No, it's definitely something cool, you guys. Even if you're not in construction, even if you... Let's say someone asks me, Dan, you know, I want a good outdoor radio that I can just go put it in parties, put it on a table or something like that. I Dance would totally recommend or something. Yeah, yeah, I would totally recommend this radio because it's just got that full sound. It's got that bass. It's got that 360 sound. Mm -hmm. And you can just put a 20 volt battery on it and you've got, you know, all day runtime. So you're gonna take this to your next high school dance, right? Yeah. I mean, nice. Dude, if I took that to the high school dance, I would be the coolest. You would if be. If I walked Put in there like there, that yeah. with my cardboard, <laughs> throw my cardboard down. You gotta use your parachute pants though. I do, yeah. my Cavaricis. Oh yeah. And then I'd start spinning around on there. People would be throwing like $10 bills at me. Yeah, damn! Yeah. Until you pull a muscle, you're like, oh! Yeah, until I pull a muscle and then I need some Xanax. And yeah. Well, we won't go all there, but man, Dwight, <laughs> we this is a nice there. radio. They did a nice job, nice sound quality out of it. It's tough, it's durable. I mean, I don't really, know. for me, as long as it sounds good, you get good reception. Not that I listen to the radio all the time, but sometimes it's nice. You get sick of what, maybe what's on your Well, you want to hear weather or too. Like that, if there's storms you know? coming in, you want the local radio station. Yeah, That's I mean, what I always tell these tool companies. You need to put a weather band radio on these things. You yeah, know? only if we had like something we could hold in our hand that had an app that we could look at for weather. Really? If there was, that'd, that'd be, be pretty cool. cool. Be or like if you cool. could put radar in your hand. That's you're talking. That's generations out. Man. Yeah, that's I know, but maybe we should patent it now. It might be. We could do that. Might be good. Guys, don't take that from us. You guys, I'm going out on a limb. This is the best radio you could buy on the market for tools. I don't care what this guy says. I totally recommend it. You buy it, you're not gonna be upset with it. HomeDepot.com. 32 five-star reviews. It's there yep. for a reason, you guys. This radio is not going to let you down. You're going to be pleasantly surprised when you get this radio. There's nothing you're really going to bitch about because it is just going to do its job and do its job well. Thank you, DeWalt. Three-year warranty. Check it out. Comment below. Go to the Power Tool Forum. This month, we're giving away a DeWalt DCN 660 nailer. Or I think it's a finish nailer, right? Yeah. Is it the finish one? 660 or 690. Yeah. I can't remember. Wow. Either or, we're giving that away over on the forum. Every month, if you sign up for the forum, you guys pick the winners. So check it out, Tools in Action, comment below. Eric loves you guys. I do. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.